Hello everyone. As you know, the Drupal's views module allows you to create the list of contents, users, and other entities that can be displayed in a various formats, such as the creeds or tables. In the last video, as we have seen, we had created this reports using the Drupal view module, and we we had added these fields, filter fields. Now I want to perform some bulk operation like as bulk delete is the multiple delete options as well as the unpublished options for that the bulk operation module adds the ability to perform actions on the multiples item in a view at a once to use the bulk operations in a view we will first need to download and enable the views bulk operation module so for that first i will download the bulk operation module Use bulk operation model in a Drupal. Click on this. Then I will download that model using the composer. For that command is composer require Drupal slash views bulk operations. Copy this command and run this command in your project and click on the enter button. Now you can see the model is downloaded. Now I will enable this model using the brush EM and the machine name of the model. Click on enter. As the model is enabled now, now go to your website, click on the structure views and edit the views which we have created. In the last video, I had created this employee report view. So I will edit this same view. To add the bulk operation, for that, uh, click on this add field and select the bulk views bulk operations and click on add and configure fields. Now here are some options. Keep all this as it is, and the batch size is a ten. So suppose if you want to delete the records, it will delete the records ten records at each time. And uh, from this action, select the actions which we want to perform. Like now, I want to perform the bulk delete and uh, bulk unpublish the content. So in the delete selected entities, select the label which you want to show in the drop down. So the label is delete and for the unpublished, the label will be the unpublished. Click on apply button. As you can see here, the field is added, but it is at the end of this table. Now we want to bring it at a first so for that uh, rearrange these fields and uh, drag it to the top click on apply button and click on save the view is saved now click on this url to open into the new tab and it will open the report as you can see here the new these checkboxes are added to select this nodes or data and if I click on this it will select the all rows and suppose I want to select a, or delete any particular record I can select that and uh, select the actions from this drop down here I made one spelling mistake I will correct that again go to the view click on this global views work operation and change the label to the delete click on apply and click on save the view is saved now open the refresh the report page 
now select any particular record i will select this 243 and i want to now perform the delete and for that i will for that i will select the delete from the sections and uh, click on apply to selected items so it will now delete this record or load from our con content then there will, after that the step is confirmation so i will execute this action as you can see the record 243 is deleted now if i want to unpublish this record for that just select this and uh, select the this action unpublish and click on apply to selected items now go to the content and uh, check if that uh, node is unpublished or not or content type name is uh, employee data and filter it as you can see the status of that uh, node is unpublished suppose you want to delete the multiple records then just select all select the action delete and click on apply to selected items it will delete the all records execute action as you can see the records are deleted that's it from this video i hope this video is useful for you please like the video and subscribe the channel for more such updates and videos thank you